This is the power of veto ceremony. Renee, finishing dead last in the HOH competition has landed you on the block. Dan and Anika, you've been nominated for eviction by Santino. I have earned the power to veto any of these three nominations. I've decided to use the power of veto on Anika. Anika, you selected me to play in the power of veto competition, allowing me to secure my first win. And I would like to return the favor by keeping you safe this week. Santino, since I vetoed a nominee, you must select a replacement. Okay. So I'm choosing this house guest because mentally, physically, you're a very strong player. And going forward in this game, I'm not sure where your loyalty stands. John Michael, please take a seat. This power of veto ceremony is over. Come here, come here, come here. Santina, I have no idea what's going on in your head. I am the reason you are HOH right now. It blows my mind. It's really sad. It's really, really sad. I feel pretty confident. I like my odds a lot better now that John Michael's the nominee. I knew having three people on the block was gonna pull out something crazy. This is wild. Who will be evicted? Dan, Renee, or John Michael? Find out Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. Attention house guests, please go to the living room for the veto ceremony. Oh, come on in. This is the power of veto ceremony. Hope and Renee have been nominated for eviction by Dan, but I have earned the power to veto one of those two nominations. I have decided to use the power of veto on you, Hope. Dan, since I have just vetoed one of your choices for nominations, you will now need to choose a replacement nominee. I have decided to nominate Rob. Rob, I've chosen to nominate you because since the blow up and after talking with the house, your name keeps coming up as someone who has the potential to create drama, which I think has a negative impact on the house. This power veto ceremony is complete. Okay. 
I put Rob on the block. I don't feel the best about it. I think Zach might be playing me. I feel like I'm sitting in kind of a moral dilemma right now, but I did what I did and I just have to live with it and move on. Right. Look at the numbers. Thank you. Man. We're gonna get the numbers. Thank you. Let's make some noise. The POV ceremony has just finished, and Zach, I mean Dan S, has put me on the block. My mission right now is to make sure the house wakes up. You gotta start recognizing who is dictating this game, and we shouldn't be running around scared of the big bad wolf. Hi. Look at you looking all pretty. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Bold move. I honestly thought Dan would have more willpower than that. What a snake. Mm -hmm. I didn't really think that you'd be so easily convinced. You just have to somehow get them to understand that we're playing Zach's game. And if we continue to allow that, He's just going to be at every HOH. Yeah. Kissing their ass. He's a big bad wolf haunting the HOH room. He's trying to further his game, like, wake up. It's just not fair. We're not pawns. We all have power. We're not moving around this house like his guard dogs. It's a part of veto ceremony. Santina and I have been nominated for eviction, but I have earned the power to veto one of Kuzi's nominees. I have decided to use the veto on myself. I came here to show Canada that I'm a competitor, that I got that dog in me, and by pulling myself off the block, I'm proving just that. This one's for you, Canada. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Kuzi, since I've vetoed one of your choices for eviction, you will need to name a replacement nominee. <laughs> they say that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And someone in this house frequently tells me that my biggest regret in this game will be not using the opportunity to take the shot while I have it. And for that reason, I've got to take the shot, but I want to promise you that my shots land. Zach, please take a seat. This power of veto ceremony is complete. There's a lot of good actors in this house. It's the first rush I've had in some time. Everybody's been sleepwalking through this game. I came to play. I'm here to play. Let's go. Your girl is up against Zachary. And I couldn't be more excited because I feel like I am going to be here with me. They, they challenged me. Whomst do you think you're playing with, beloved? Do you know whomst I am? Zachary is out the door. Boom! Goodbye. Toodaloo. Who will be left standing after a scandal rocks the house? Find out the shocking truth. Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. Dan and 
Ty have been nominated for eviction by the invisible HOH. But the winner of the Blind POV competition has earned the ability to, to veto, veto one, one of the nominations. And that house guest has decided to use the veto on that if Ty was going off the block, that I would be going up. The worst part about all of this is that I feel like Renee is in on it, and I definitely cannot trust her anymore. I am furious right now. These are the two people that I'm closest to in the house, and I'm now going to have to decide which one to send home. It's honestly kind of my worst nightmare. You know what? This is the move I wanted to make, and if it makes Ty mad, it makes Ty mad. I'll deal with that later. I just need to rest my soul from all this yelling and fighting and lying. Who will be evicted? Claudia or Dan? Find out at the live eviction, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. Power of Veto Ceremony. Hope and Renee have been nominated for eviction by Ty. But I have earned the power to veto one of his nominations. I have decided. To use the power of veto on Renee. On day one, we came into this game together dead last. Ever since then, you've been out here fighting for your life, and it is my pleasure to offer you a little bit of safety this week. <laughs> Ty, since I have just vetoed one of your choices for eviction, you will need to name a replacement nominee. Unfortunately, because my nominations have not been respected, I'm forced to make a decision I never intended to make, nor wanted to make. Johnny, please take a seat. Dogs for life. This power of veto ceremony is complete. I respect Sinair for what she did because I would have done the same thing. But I don't want Johnny to go and I don't want to go. 
I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to campaign against Jonathan. This is a tough spot, man. It's a tough spot. What I always say to Hope is don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll figure it out. But right now, I'm having trouble figuring it out. I still got a lot of game to play. I don't feel like this is my time. People are not happy, but you know what? This is the move that I wanted to make. Everyone here preaches, do what's good for your game. Well, guess what? This move is good for mine. I am not a floater, and I am not afraid to go against what the house wants. And if I'm the next HOH, Ty better watch out. Who will be evicted? Jonathan or Hope? Find out Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. This is the power of veto ceremony. Hope and I have been nominated for eviction by Claudia, but I have earned the power to veto one of her nominations. I've decided to use the power of veto on myself. Claudia, since I've just vetoed one of your choices for eviction, you will need to name a replacement nominee. As the numbers go down in this game, decisions like this are becoming harder and harder to make. I'm sad to say, Kuzi, please take a seat. This power of veto ceremony is complete. When I get off this block, Claudia, you better watch out because I am a dangerous soldier and my first target is no one else, you. <laughs> it's my honor to sit on the block with you. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna cry, are you? No, you guys don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. This is the power of veto ceremony. Anika and I have been nominated for eviction by Renee, but I have earned the power to veto one of her nominations. I've decided to use the power of veto on myself. I once heard that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But if your name is Cece or Ray Ray, you apparently also miss 100% of the shots that you do take. Renee, since I've just vetoed one of your choices for eviction, you must name a replacement nominee. If there's one thing I've learned in this game is that opportunities like this don't come often. And with little time left, I have to strike while the iron's hot. For that reason, Queen Ku, please take a seat. Renee, shut up. <laughs> Sit down. This power of veto ceremony is complete. Not even congratulations on our shot. You missed your shot as Ty. I'm just collateral damage. If she's the one that sends me to jury, I will do everything that I can just to make sure she will not touch 100,000 from Big Brother. Her name will never be remembered as a winner of Big Brother. I will make sure that she fails once again, dead last forever. 
Who will be evicted? Kuzi or Anika? And which other house guest will be a casualty of the double eviction? Find out Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, everyone, it is time for the POV ceremony. Ty, you hold the power right now, and we need to know, are you going to use the POV, and if so, on whom? Let me remind you, if you do save someone, Claudia will have to name a replacement nominee. Please stand and tell us what you've decided. <clears throat> I've decided to use the power of veto on Anika. Thank you, Ty. Claudia, that means you must choose a replacement nominee. Please stand and tell us who it will be. Thank you, Claudia. Daniel and Shania, one of you will be evicted in a matter of minutes. We will be back to you in just a bit. Claudia and Renee have been nominated for eviction by Anika, but I have earned the power to veto one of the nominations. Claudia, tell me why I choose the veto to save you. Ty, as always, I want you to do what's best for your game, and I do hope that means keeping me safe, because I know together we are a powerhouse duo, and I would love the chance to continue this experience with you. Renee, tell me why I should use the veto to save you. While I would love for you to take this boote off the block, I also understand you need to put yourself first and make the move that's best for your game, but I only hope that I can still be a part of that picture. I've decided. To use the power of veto on Claudio. Claudia, we've had some very rough and rocky moments here. I also broke your trust last week, forcing you to send one of your best friends to jury. However, I would like to show you that it was truly with your best interest in mind that I made that move. Anika, since I've just vetoed one of your choices for eviction, you will need to name a replacement nominee. With no one else to nominate, that else that nominates you. This power of veto ceremony is complete. I am so happy and so relieved. I knew I could trust in him. It's the showman's 2.0, we're back. <laughs> I am no stranger to surviving evictions and I'm gonna do whatever I can to make sure this one's no different. I am the block star, so I can do it. Hearing your number one ally say your name and be the reason you're sitting on the block with a chance to leave is extremely difficult and I am scared for my life, and I know I have a lot of work to do. And it's not looking good, BB. Who will be evicted, Renee or Daniel? Find out at the live eviction, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern.
Hello, everyone. Hey, what's up? It's time for the biggest and last veto ceremony of the season. Claudia, you won the power of veto, which means your decision will determine who is in the final three this season. It's all up to just you. Please stand. Now, I think I know what you're going to say, but I have to ask, are you going to use the POV? I have decided to use the power of veto on myself. Thank you, Claudia. Anika, that means you are now the replacement nominee. Please take a seat.